When St. Louis and Ken Crowder was put on the kidney transplant list over one year ago, he was fortunate enough to have someone willing to donate to him, his girlfriend, Rebecca Burks. I had talked to her about it, and I was like, baby, do you really want to do it? She said, yeah, and hey, she did it for me. The problem was Burke's kidney wasn't a perfect match for Crowder. We didn't have an exact match, but they could still do the transplant, but that if we were interested, they could put us involved with this other organ sharing program. And with that program, there may be a direct match and we might be able to donate to someone else. It's a problem that's very common in the world of organ donation. People who are willing to donate to a friend or loved one, but can't because they are not a match. There's reasons that they may not be able to donate to their loved one or their friend. Either they're not blood group compatible, uh, the donor and recipient may have antibodies against each other, and for whatever reason, they're not just not a match. So Crowder and Burks agreed to be part of a new program, an organ transplant, Match Paired Kidney Donation. What we do is we enter the donor into this national run paired exchange program, and it's a very complicated, uh, gigantic mathematical computation uh, that will pair and swap donors and recipients across the country now. And so that this recipient could potentially still get a living donor, but the donor may be somewhere on the East Coast, and that donor may swap with someone on the West Coast, and you can create various chains and various mix and matches. Barnes Jewish Hospital in St. Louis has been part of such efforts for a couple of years, partnering with hospitals nationwide, such as Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, on kidney swaps. However, on December 6 of 2010, Barnes Jewish was the first in the country to be part of a new pilot program overseen by the United Network of Organ Sharing, or UNOS. Prior to this exchange program, there were several smaller programs scattered throughout the country. There was a few separate ones on the East Coast, there was one in the, in the Midwest, there were a few in the West Coast. But then the government and the, and the UNOS, United Network of Organ Sharing, said it's been well shown that the more donors entered into a pool will equate to more potential matches, therefore getting more recipients matched. So they said let's pull everyone together and get one big national run paired exchange program. So on December 6, Burke's kidney was removed and flown to Pittsburgh. Um, we are exchanging uh, kidneys today in Pittsburgh. The donors both went this morning. Their kidneys are packaged securely. The kidneys do very well. Um, uh, kidneys that we ship from our, our live donors. We like our timing to be exactly perfect for our OR times, for our flights, and for our recipients transport them to their prospective centers, and both recipients will be transplanted this afternoon. Upon landing in Pittsburgh, Coletta would meet a counterpart from Dartmouth-Hitchcock in New Hampshire, where Burke's kidney would be implanted into a matched recipient. Meanwhile, Coletta would return to St. Louis with a kidney for Crowder from a matched donor who lived in New Hampshire. We have donors who are heroes who had surgery today, and we have recipients who are hopefully going to have life-changing organ transplants today. Big day. They are projecting approximately 1,500 to 3,000 more living transplants per year. So it, it should make a significant jump in uh, the number of kidney transplants performed nationally. With 80,000 people on the list waiting for kidneys and only 16,000 transplants performed annually, surgeons hope the program continues to expand nationwide. Being the first ever to perform a kidney swap in this national program is able to get our patients kidney transplants quicker, sooner, and with excellent results. Right, get this on camera. Yay! <laughs>